Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spirit Tea. We have so much to do. So much sleuthing to do. We are going to start by going into the storage here, and I'm looking for the seeds. I've been finding seed bags, and yes, I removed the seed bag. Okay, so now if we open our backpack here, we have a few things you will notice. Number one, I have to go and give up my goldfish bowl. Sadly, we need to donate that to the shrine up by the bathhouse. And then I have a camera I had to buy because the programmer, the guy who's the computer programmer, Eric, that's his name. He's been stalked while he's walking and I have to take pictures of his stalker. I have to look up the times. So I have a camera to take pictures of that. And then we have a seed bag. I will show you what I'm thinking about the seed bag once we get up to the bathhouse. So let's go out here. We also have Bruce's spirit. We need to go and see Bruce's house on a weekday while he's at school, which is pretty much right about now. This shrine should be ready for Bruce's spirit. That's the shrine, right? Oh, hey, here's my buddy. By the way, look, do you see how Kenzo had a red heart? Look, look what happened. I haven't gotten any more spirits since the last episode. I was waiting for you guys. However, I did make friends, best of friends with Yumi. There she goes. Hey, she's my other bestie. <laughs> and also Kenzo. And so they will help me in the bathhouse, which is huge. You guys just wait. It is so much easier when you have help in the bathhouse. And then you might notice there is purple goo everywhere all over these text boxes that is from the curry noodle spirit anishi i think was his name that's another thing we're supposed to do i don't know what to do first we have to go to the graveyard supposedly and find some sort of elixir to get rid of that but first let's go to bruce's house i think this is the one right here will we find his spirit let's see okay we ready spirit vision enabled there it is. We finished fixing up your shrine, you nuisance. Then you actually found me a shrine and you fixed it yourself? Well, yeah. It took a lot of work too. So you better be thankful. Making us waste our time. We've got better things to do. Moologs to make. Show me, please. Okay, here we go. Will he like it? Remember the purifying elixir recipe is buried in a graveyard near town. Yes, that is next on our to-do list. It's perfect. Oh, he likes it. If you did said anything else, I would have ended you right then and there. Wait, what? You, a mortal, showing such compassion? Who do we have here? Let me guess, it's all coming back to you now, huh? Yes. What the heck is that? Is that a toad with a beard? That's a toad with a goatee and some sort of hat. My name was Phineas. Phineas, is that right? Oh, he's got a bag. Is he a toad? What is he? Is he wearing a loincloth? What the heck? That is some getup. Wait a minute. Do I see a tail? Is he a bearded dragon? Now that would make sense. I don't think I need to tell you what will happen if you continue to bother that mortal. Of course not, Wanyan. I am ashamed that I became so lost. I was truly a fool. Yes, well, to make up for it, you can bring us some of your earnings at your new shrine, and in turn, we will provide you with baths a spirit could only dream of. Yes, a dirty bathtub filled with everyone else's filth. You'll love it, and you can pay for it. <laughs> That's quite the sales pitch. You can count on me stopping by. Thank you. Oh, and stop by the shrine later on. I've got some ideas. Call them old inspirations, maybe. Anyway, I think it'll be worth your while. Stop by the shrine? Hmm. All right. Let's go back and check out that shrine you fixed up sometime later. I'm going to forget. I am going to forget. We're gonna turn off our spirit vision. Let's eat the butterfruit, yes. There's so much butterfruit around here. 
Oh, there's Tifa. Do we want to get distracted? Yes, because we need Tifa in the bathhouse. We're going to get distracted. Oh, wait, she's not going to stop working, will she? No, I don't want to buy anything, but I do like that hat. I don't want to spend a thousand moologs on it. Oh, and another thing. Let me get my map out. It does not the map. I almost forgot. Oh, wait, Moby. Hey, Moby. Oh, my gosh, this game. It's like an ADHD person's nightmare. We have two people who can help us at the bathhouse. That is going to be a big help in and of itself. So at the graveyard, did it tell me? I don't know where the dig. By the graves? I forget what the clue was. Wait, what's that? I got it. I got an elixir scroll for purifying. What? Excellent work. Now that you found the recipe. Oh, great. I get to make something. I have to make the purifying elixir because that spirit makes a mess in the baths. Like this purple goo everywhere. Looks like he snotted purple goo. I should be able to make it at the bathhouse. Wait, you could always just make it at your house. Either way, let's get cooking chop chop. And there's probably no way to see what I have to get for the elixir until I actually go to the house or the bathhouse, right? That's how it works, doesn't it? However, on our way to the bridge, to check that, let's go and see the bulletin board. I know we have more clues. So, we finished this one. This is Bruce's. Clarence is cautioning us about something on the mountain hiking trail. I have not been there yet because that has been blocked because of the bridge. We might have that open now. Eric has the photography quest for me. I still can't figure out Lee's. He has a spirit messing with his painting. I need to look into that more. Miko, we finished that one. Toby, this is a new one. The hot springs are not safe at night. I've never even been to the hot springs, especially Sunday nights. Oh, another one on a Sunday night. For your safety, please stay away from them after dark. Sunday night. Well, we have to find the hot spring first. And then Yari, this is a new person. I found him at the bus stop and he is having a problem with crows. The wildlife around town is acting a bit nuts. Be careful, particularly around birds. So am I supposed to find a crow and then turn on my spirit vision? Maybe? I don't know, now I'm all spooked. Looking for crows. <laughs> okay, let's go up here. Will the bridge be open? Yes. Yes. This is the first time I've been up here. <gasps> so many secrets. You know there are secrets up here. If these mountains could talk. There are train tracks. Wait a minute. Before we go that way, let's see what this is. Another shrine. Oh my gosh. Wait, I think I have a muffin plum on my backpack. Yes, I offered the muffin plum. And it took it. I need to see what bug this is over here. Is this a new one? Nope. We're going to let it go. Fun fact, guys, and you can also see this in my tips video that I just released. You can release your bugs and catch them again, which is especially helpful if you're trying to level up your friendship with somebody. It's kind of cheating, I know, but it works. What did I just find, honey? <gasps> Shut up, that's honey. I know we need that for a shrine, I just don't know what shrine. But anyhow, yeah, you see how I just released that caterpillar? I can just keep catching it and releasing it when you are bug catching with a friend and it's so fast see i'm sure we could go fishing in here catch something new what is this i can't get through here do you think this is some place that we have a secret 
way to get there? Hmm. More honey? I don't know if I need more honey, but I know where to get it if we need it. Why is the camera panning out? Is this just so I can get a nice panoramic view? What is the purpose of this? I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It could make a nice thumbnail also. I can't see anything. Wow. Oh, look. It even hid the HUD. Oh, now this is going to make a nice thumbnail. I have an idea. I have a camera in my pocket. Okay. It didn't take a picture of really anything. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I got a grasshopper. I know. I have to make the elixir. The problem is, how do I release these grasshoppers? I think that's a bug. No joke. I can't get the grasshoppers out of my backpack. No more grasshoppers. I need to go into my storage. I don't know how to get rid of them. Look at this old disheveled house. Oh wait, we have another fruit here. What is this? That's a new one. A sun melon. I don't think I have that. What is this building? This might be the hot springs. I'm feeling very tired. Oh, come on. I literally just slept. This must be the hot springs. Look at us. We found the hot springs. Oh, Faye is going to join us. That was weird. Faye came out of nowhere and just joined my little naked bath time. <laughs> it's a little sus, Faye. What's going on? How are you, Faye? I have never gotten to know you like this before. It's interesting. Oh, so it doesn't help. Look, my stamina is now dropping. Okay. Yes, let's leave. So what benefit is the hot spring? That is a good question. Oh, hey, I don't see anything. Clarence, what's the problem? I wonder if I can confide something in you. Yes. I was just going to say that. I wonder if you can, too. We'll tell them that we're going to keep the secret. Mum's the word, Clarence. I really need to get this off my chest. Uh-oh. Last Saturday morning, I was hiking with Amelia. We were on our way down the mountain when... Suddenly, I got goosebumps all down my body and heard a voice. I couldn't make out the words exactly, but I have a feeling it was poking fun at me. <laughs> Silly, right? Hmm. I know I didn't see anyone else up there on that mountain, so my mind is leading me to crazy conclusions. The old lady that used to live in your house, she was what we called a speaker. My grandparents always told me that speakers were incredibly spiritual people who could communicate with the spirits of this world. You know the lanterns on the mountain and how they mysteriously light up at night? No, I don't. I haven't seen those yet. The speaker lady, sorry, I can't remember her name, told me when I was little that the spirits lit the lanterns every night. I don't know if she was just trying to pull one over on a young boy, but I never forgot that. Anyway, it seems like something strange is going on on that mountain. I'd better be careful going up there if I were you, especially if you're alone. It was truly very disturbing. But he's looking that way. He's looking to the right. But this is towards the bathhouse. So where are these lanterns? And we got to get going, I know, but... Look at this. I really want to explore more. That's locked too. So we have more mysteries to solve up here still. Actually, you know what? First, I'm going to deposit the grasshoppers. I can't get the grasshoppers out of my bag. So we'll just stick them in there for now. And we are going to sleep for seven hours. That should give us our maximum stamina buff. And Let's take a look at our recipes. 
We need the purifying elixir. Oh, there it is. Purifying elixir, sakura blossom? White rice and rice wine. I think the rice wine is going to be down here. Yes, there it is. We're just going to swipe a bottle. There we go. Stick it in our pocket. That means we're going to have to go to the bathhouse. Oh, there's another crow. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for with the crows. Hmm. The fireflies are really pretty. I love that. Well, I guess let's go up to the bathhouse. And see if we can get a blossom. We could always cook it at the bathhouse, right? I have a fridge up there. Yeah, look. This dude just hangs out here by the bus stop. What's he eating? Yari. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear I'm not lying about this. You believe me, right? Um, of course I do. Thanks. I knew I could trust you to not judge me. Just seriously, stay away from any crows you see. I was just trying to warn you. Where are the blossoms? Oh, while we're here. Yes, we need to give our fishbowl away, sadly. <sighs> I'm going to have to buy a new one. How do I get the Sakura Blossom? Is it this way? Wait a minute. I think the tree might be over here. Yes. Oh, this is it. Yes. Put it in our pocket. There was only one? Oh, what? I just found a random bag of some sort of seed? I don't know what seeds those are. Wait, here's another blossom. Hey, well, we have the blossom. No, I don't consume the blossom. You can eat it. Yes, I want to donate it. Well, we have three things done on that shrine to the purifying elixir. And then we're going to have some help today. You just wait and see. This bathhouse runs like clockwork when you have two people. I have them washing and trolleying the towels. Ferrying them back here. Look at all these towels now. I did buy some more because with all the help, I was running out. It's this one. Okay, we need to ferment it. Which one of these is ferment? This is boil. This is fry. Wait a minute, what's this thing? Here we go. Ferment. Here we go. Now... We have our rice wine, our sakura blossom, and our white rice. We are going to ferment it, and this should make the purifying elixir. I have no idea how long that takes. So while we're waiting for that to ferment, I assume it's just going to plop out here when it's done, look down here on the bottom of the kitchen. I didn't even pay any attention to this. And it wasn't until I saw something pop up on my Google feed. This is apparently something that we can plant. It's dirt. And I've been finding seed bags. So we're going to see. Yep, I just planted a seed there. And here's another seed. I don't know what it's going to grow. And then this here looks like it's, yes, the water. I don't know how much to water it. It does use quite a bit of stamina. Look at my stamina. There's our purifying elixir. Well done. It seems like you've managed to craft the purifying elixir. Let's put it to use right away. There we go. The purple goop is going to disappear. Honestly, I kind of liked it. I like purple. It was very decorative. <laughs> it seems like that did the trick. Nicely done. You're not half bad at making those elixirs. That purifying elixir is definitely a good one to remember in case any spirits make a mess in the waters of the bathhouse. They will. But that's a lot of ingredients. Let's go and open the bathhouse and then you'll see I will get a prompt to employ. I have Kenzo as a towel runner and I have Yumi as a washer. You also can have a wood cutter and a back scrubber. I would like to get a back scrubber to keep them happy because I don't know what spirits to put together. I can't remember all of that. Uh, but 
We're just gonna be glad for the help we have and we're gonna open our bathhouse. Here they come. Look at Kenzo and Yumi. Thanks guys. And we have the taco guy. Um, we're just gonna put him right here. Grandma gets along with Father Rog, so I always put these two together. I need to make a chart. There are charts online of all the different spirits. The problem is remembering them because as I get more spirits, it gets more and more difficult to remember them all. Ooh, here's the new guy. The bearded dragon. I don't know what he is. I don't know who he gets along with. Let's see if he gets along with the old lady. I think they're far enough apart that it'll be okay. He's kind of cute. Look at him with his little beard floating in there. Look how nice it is to have my helpers. Look at them. Good job, guys. Thanks for the help. Look at my little sprouts down here. What do you think we're going to grow? I don't know how much I was supposed to water them. What is this? I have more purifying elixir? What? I love how he carries them on his head. That's so cool. Look how busy our bathhouse is. 14 in here right now. Okay, we're gonna see if these two get along. Oh, they do. So our bearded dragon and the taco lizard, they get along. They must be the same season or subsequent seasons. Does the new guy get along with the old lady? Yes, they're all getting along. I'm going to forget who gets along with whom, but right now it's good. And we have our chicken. One thing I've discovered, I think the chicken, when he sings, he alleviates any tension between opposite spirits. That's my theory, anyhow. It does seem to change any sad faces to happy once he starts singing. There goes our last customer. It's 4.30. We are going to close the bathhouse. We have right around 5,000 moologs. Let's get our money. Let's see how much we made. Holy moly. We made 5,000 moologs in one day. That's my record, I think. And it... Honestly, it's all due to having that help because think of all that stamina I am saving by not having to wash and dry those towels. You know what I think we're going to do? Let's spend this money and oh, wait a crow. Maybe we can expand the bathhouse some more. Oh my gosh. What's he doing? Wait a minute. Should I get my net out? I'm feeling very tired. Oh my gosh. What's he doing? What was that? Song, did you see that crow? Who's this guy? Our friend Yari. He's in here playing the Atari. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought of that. Oh, you gotta believe me, the crows. I know. I believe you. It's like that Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds. That probably no one watching this knows. <laughs> Yeah, I believe you. I'm afraid. Is it still out here? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh! Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna let it do its thing. What is this crow doing? This is totally like the movie The Birds. Oh! <gasps> what the heck? Am I dead? Gods, I was wondering if you were going to sleep there for all eternity. Me too! It seems that Yari was onto something. The crows in town are acting very unusually. This is starting to smell like the work of a spirit. Be careful and keep your eyes peeled for crows. While you were out cold, I looked into town. One crow in particular was acting odder than the rest. Let's see if we can find that crow while avoiding the others. Maybe your tea vision would help. Where am I? Oh! <gasps> I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Real quick. <laughs> I wanna stop here and I wanna pay 
Faye will have this completed on Friday. Yes. Okay, our bathhouse is closed. No, I just need to get home. Get away from me. Now it's nine o'clock. I know, I'm doing a terrible job. How do I get home without aggroing the crows? There's Faye. Oh gosh, there's a crow. I just want to go home. Oh gosh, there's another crow. They're everywhere. I just want to get home. Just take me home before I die. Oh, there's one. Oh dear. Where's my door? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. The problem is... No, did you hear that? Do you hear the munching sound? Oi, you there. What are you? Are you eating Bunny's moologs? Hey, get back here. Don't worry, Bunny. I know what to do the next time we catch him. Let me just say that thanks to uh, one of our wonderful viewers who commented on my video when I heard the burping and the crunching, that's how I discovered to do that. So we have a spirit eating our money. <laughs> and hopefully we can catch them next time. I'm just going to have to forego helping Eric tonight. We need to sleep. I know we didn't solve our crow problem. But I think we need to save that for another episode. I'm afraid to go out here. Are they going to be out here? Okay. Oh, gosh. There's one. So this is going to keep happening. All right. Well, I'm just going to stay in my house for right now. <laughs> we caught one spirit today. We did get Bruce's spirit. We have a crow problem. We are upgrading our bathhouse. We have a spirit eating our money. And we did open the mountain. And we have another one on the mountain, on the mountain trails that we have to get. And we have the hot springs now. There is so much more that we have to do. But that will all have to wait until next episode. I'm happy with what we did today. And if you would like to join me on this and other cute and cozy adventures please consider subscribing, and if you would like to be extra kind, drop me a like and a comment down below. I will see you next time.